So, uh, this is a new house? Yeah. I yeah. noticed it has no furniture and, like, we, yeah, no, no I mean, literally all my money went on the floor, so... Ah. Yeah, you, no roof, you also don't no have a roof, door, yeah. so anyone can, like, come in here. Yeah, I'm... Like, yeah, do I'm you realize that? Um, what is that, Oh. Joel? I think I made a missile. You made you made a what? You yeah, think? I kind of forgot about it. Like, in fact, I think it's missile. gonna... Oh. Joel, yeah, what is that? Right. Um, oh. You know what, Joel, let's just kind of get out of here and... Right, um, yeah, sorry about... Sorry about your house. That was a diamond floor. Diamond, you say? Well, um, yeah. You know what? This is my gift to you. Take these two. Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna be on my way now. Bye-bye. He's not mad. It's okay. Hello, everybody. What you just saw there was our armor penetrating, armor piercing, TNT missile slash bullet slash projectile, whatever you want to call it. It's exceptionally cool. And we're going to show you how to build it today. It's really simple and requires very few things. And it's one of the coolest things that I think Joel and I have ever come up with on our own. So, what we're going to need are slam blocks, blocks of redstone, pistons, TNT, and sticky pistons. Now, we're going to start here. It's very important the orientation of this, and it's also very important that you build it up against a wall so that it doesn't prematurely start and go off into the distance and explode without, without your say-so. So we're going to start with our pistons, and you're going to place it facing away from your wall. Against that, you're going to put slime blocks. You will then place two of your regular pistons, break the first one, and put a sticky piston facing backwards like so. Then against this, you'll place a, a uh, slime block, then on the top of both of them, redstone blocks. As you can see, this isn't going anywhere because the back block is currently restricted. So that's that's what we want. Underneath your slime block, you're going to take your blocks of TNT and you'd go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. Now against this block back here, as you can see, it's orientated one block backwards and two blocks down. We're going to build almost an identical contraption. So we're going to go piston, Slime block, piston, piston, break, sticky piston, slime block, and then blocks of redstone. Now, as you can see, the blocks of redstone are in line with the TNT. So we're going to release the top one first. It will fly along to your target, penetrate the wall, and get stuck wherever it will, just somewhere nasty, hopefully. You will then release the second one. It will come along igniting all the TNT, allowing it to drop to the floor of the base and just destroying everything. This is going to put a hole in the wall of your base, or your your enemy's base, and then explode everything. So we are going to demonstrate it, I believe, Joel, because this is one of the coolest things we've ever built. Here we go, I'm going to break the back block here. It's going to head off, and I'm going to break the black block, that black back block, and that will head off. As you can see, they're roaring along. As you can see, we're approaching the wall now. The TNT will hit, but continue to go through. This is the important part until it gets stuck against something. Now the base is going to go through, igniting all of that TNT as it drops to the floor and explodes in a delightfully destructive fashion. That is amazing, in my opinion. That is one of the coolest things we've ever built. Uh, and it's simple, that's all you need. And yeah, Joel, do you have anything to say? No, all seems well, good. Yeah, th th that's it then. I guess we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching.